Hi everybody, April here with Bliss Evolution and it's noon so it's ready. I'm ready and it's time for our 12 p.m. meditation today so thank you to all my friends who could be here today. I'm so happy that you could join me and just to get started I want to mention a couple of things that are good to keep in mind in general about meditation and to try to demystify it a little bit. So I always thought I was bad at meditation and I know that some people are naturally just better at it than I am. But after over 10 years of practicing meditation with yoga and leading people in meditation, I learned that it's not as foreign or as esoteric or as confusing as I was making it out to be all that time. So what is it? Meditation is continuing to bring the mind back to the body or bring the mind back to a point that you're focusing on, even though it has the tendency to go crazy and to run around. So that's it. It's that simple. So. It's like exercising a muscle. If you exercise that muscle, then it gets stronger and it gets, um, you know, just over time more able to do more. And it's the same with meditation. If you continually practice to bring your mind back to that point of focus, and usually I use the breath, but you can use whatever you want. You can use an intention, a thought, a word, um, like love or like compassion, so whatever you want to focus on. And um, yeah, you can always just bring the mind back to that thing, back to that thought, or even to an object, back to the flame of a candle or um, an object that you find brings peace or makes you feel connected to your higher power, then that's really all that it is. It's just exercising the act of bringing the mind back so that when we find ourselves in difficult circumstances or we find that our mind is running away, we've practiced the ability and we're able to bring the mind back. So it's really that simple. And the reason that I like guided meditation so much is that you don't have to do it yourself and you don't have to do it in silence. And so I like to offer these breathe and meditate classes so that we can do it together and nobody has to feel alone or be alone in trying to find some peace. So welcome and thank you so much for being with me here today. So the focus that I would like to take today is navigating uncertainty or dealing with uncertainty. And I know that um, a lot of people, myself included, are problem solvers. When there is some problem or some issue, we like to make a decision, take action, get in there and fix it. And sometimes and some circumstances don't allow for that. And so we sometimes feel hopeless or we feel helpless or we feel like we're not able to contribute or to make things better. And so today, what I want to focus on is dealing with that uncertainty internally, dealing with the feelings of uncertainty and the other feelings that become compounded because of uncertainty. So it could be nervousness or worry or maybe even anxiety. It could be fear of the future because we don't know what's going to happen. And so maybe we can't come up with a plan and a course of action to make some change when it comes to uncertainty, but what we can do is work internally and work with our own minds and our own emotions and come up with ways that we feel happier, more confident, and more comfortable even with that uncertainty still there in our lives. So 
Let's start with breathing. You know I like to start with deep breaths together. And so what I will encourage you to do is make sure that you have a long and straight spine. So whether you're lying down on the ground, and that might be in savasana or corpse pose, which is a resting pose that we use in yoga. So that's lying on the back with the arms out at a 45 degree angle, palms facing up, legs stretched out and feet falling out to either side. It's a very comfortable and relaxing position. So that's, that might be a position for you if you wanna lie down and relax, if you wanna sit up and relax like I'm doing. You just wanna make sure that you're sitting up straight and tall, that your shoulders are back, you're rolling the shoulder blades down the spine, you're lifting the chest, you're gently lifting the chin. And that spine is straight and the whole idea of that is so that all of the energy channels throughout the body are open. My legs are crossed. Your legs can be crossed if you're sitting on a chair. Your feet can be next to each other, knees next to each other. Um, hands, we can do a number of things with our hands. So if you wanna feel like you wanna ground yourself to yourself, to the earth, you can make the okay symbol and just place those on your knees or on your legs face down. If you wanna feel like you wanna to connect to God or the higher power or the universe, you can touch your second finger with your thumb, thumb and middle finger and palms face up resting on the knees or in the lap. Or if you just want to relax and not really think about your hands or what your hands are doing, you can place one hand on top of the other with the thumbs touching and just place them right in your lap. I always cue to come back to the breath. So if you choose a different anchor or a different thing to focus on, then let me see, there's a little bit of noise here. Let's see if I can change that, hopefully that will help. So if you want to choose a different anchor than the breath, that's totally fine. Think of a word that you want to come back to. It could be compassion. It could be a mantra. It might be a Sanskrit word. If you're familiar with meditation and you have a word that you like to, to go with for meditation, it could be a thought or an intention, something, some outcome that you would love that you don't really have control over or it could be an object or like me it could be the breath so decide what you want to focus on and that will be what we continually bring our thoughts back to so we'll start and I like to close my eyes you're welcome to close your eyes you don't have to um, some people like to fully close their eyes others like to leave just a little bit of their eyes open at the bottom, a little slit open to let the light in so they don't fall asleep. So if you're lying down, you might play with that. So we'll begin by just relaxing the body. We have a nice, long and lean, straight spine. Our neck and head are aligned with our spine we're just scanning the body we're just noticing first we're noticing places that maybe need a little bit of extra love maybe they're giving us a little bit of pain maybe they're causing us anxiety or uncertainty let's take a few moments and notice any areas in particular that maybe even over the long term tend to bother us or make us feel uncomfortable any muscles where we generally hold tension and now I want you to think about only right now only this moment and focusing on that area or those areas are they causing you trouble right now are they causing you worry 
in this moment. And then I want us to scan the body a second time to notice where are the parts of our body that are working perfectly? What are the things that bring us joy to know we don't have to worry about them? What are the areas that very rarely cause us pain? Very rarely are these areas tense. And if we're struggling with the body, maybe we'll bring the focus and the intention to our hearts. And know that we're full of compassion and love for our families and our friends, to our brains. And we know that we're good and smart at coming up with certain things, certain different ways to solve problems or get through the day. So whatever those things are, those comforting things about what's working with your body, I want you to just acknowledge those. Notice them. These are the things that it's so easy to take for granted. As we breathe, as we inhale and exhale, invite you to deepen the breath, to fill the breath up from the bottom to the middle of the lungs, all the way to the top of the lungs, and to exhale from the top of the lungs to the middle of the lungs, all the way to the bottom of the lungs. Inhale, completely fill the lungs all the way up until you can't take in any more breath. And then exhale, completely empty the lungs, relaxing the body, acknowledging those areas of ourselves that we appreciate and that we're grateful for. Moving the mind back to those tense areas, those areas that cause us trouble. On our next deep breath in, we'll inhale, and we'll send that breath to wash over those areas, bringing with it prana, life force energy, also known as chi or ki, carrying that loving and healing energy through the body, washing over especially the areas that need it most. And with each exhale, we'll imagine exhaling that tension, exhaling that pain out from our bodies. We'll watch it float out the window and away. And as we inhale and as we exhale, we'll come back to our bodies and imagine, are we feeling lighter? Are we feeling more at peace? Are we feeling more relaxed? And if the mind begins to wander, as it does, as we all do, we'll just gently acknowledge what comes to mind, each thought. And then we'll notice that thought as it continues to pass out of our consciousness to float out of our minds as if on a cloud. We 
We're not ignoring it. We can attend to it later. But for now, we're taking just a few moments for ourselves to go inward. And as we inhale and exhale, I want to come back to the idea of uncertainty in this time, especially during a pandemic and knowing that life continues and there are still the daily chores, the needs of loved ones, the difficulties that people face that seem to be heightened in this strange time. And as we think about all of these things, that feeling of uncertainty is floating around our lives. There's a lot that we don't know. But just because we don't have the answer now doesn't mean that the answer won't come in time. And just because we don't have an answer now doesn't mean that we have to live in fear or worry or upsetment until we know something for sure. As we breathe and bring our thoughts to our breath, I invite you to let go of some of those feelings of needing to control certain situations, of needing to know specific outcomes, knowing that in due course, in due time, we'll have the information that we need to have. job, with family, with friends, and with people at very different levels than we are of handling what's going on around us. It's important to let go of those feelings of trying to manage everything perfectly. And instead, begin to allow that it's okay if uncertainty joins us for a while. Of course, maybe some of our favorite feelings to have are joy and love. things change, and other feelings come and start to crowd out those feelings that we love to hold on to. We start trying to clasp and grab at them, pull them towards us. away. And then feelings like uncertainty come and take their place. Feelings like fear. Feelings like a loss of control. 
for our entire lives. And maybe it helps you to know as it helps me to know. These feelings are temporary. And maybe it helps you to know as it helps me to know that so many people are feeling this way right now. I've spoken to a number of people over the past few months who've talked about scary dreams, feelings of fatigue for no reason, seemingly no reason, feelings of fear and anxiety at the smallest things. We all have our moments. And rather than allowing those feelings to control our lives, instead, we invite them to sit with us. We acknowledge the uncertainty, the fear, the worry. Maybe we even thank them for joining us at the table, for reminding us what joy looks like in the absence of these feelings, what unconditional love looks like, even if we are in the middle of feeling these feelings, unconditional love that we can provide to our loved ones or that we receive from our loved ones, no matter what we're feeling. And as we sit at the table with happiness and fear and contentment and uncertainty and joy and worry, we realize that all of these things make us who we are. And it is in our response to these things that we find our true metal and we find our strength knowing that it's not fear that will take over our lives knowing that even if we're worried we can still be compassionate knowing that even if we're sad we can still laugh that's something funny. Even if we're afraid, we can still love and be loved. And in time, those feelings will change. We won't feel some of those difficult feelings so strongly anymore. So in this time of uncertainty, I invite you to bring your focus and attention back to your breath. And although we may carry this uncertainty with us, we don't have to let it control our minds. I'll ask you to find one thing that you're grateful for. Maybe it's one thing that we noted at the beginning of our meditation practice today. Something that's working properly. Or maybe it's something else that's working properly in our lives. I want you to bring that thing that you're grateful for to your mind and know that even in this time of uncertainty, this beautiful thing is yours.
And as we bring our focus and attention back to our anchor, back to our breath, we'll notice if we have any tense muscles, we'll relax them. As we inhale and exhale, we notice the flow of energy all throughout the body. As we fill up the lungs, we imagine all of that oxygen moving to our brain, moving through our blood. Making us feel better and stronger. As we breathe, we know that we can handle the uncertainty that's in our lives right now. Because we have one thing, or maybe many things, that we're grateful for. And because all things change, and it won't be this way forever. Inhale, fill the lungs up from the bottom to the middle, all the way to the top of the lungs. And exhale from the top of the lungs to the middle of the lungs, all the way to the bottom of the lungs. Inhale, fill up the lungs from the bottom to the middle, all the way to the top. And exhale from the top of the lungs to the middle of the lungs, all the way to the bottom of the lungs. And as you exhale, open your eyes and join me back here. And there is something that I do at the end of every yoga class that I would like to do with you today. If you feel like stretching with me, you can join me for a stretch. If you don't feel like stretching, you don't need to move. You can just do this in your heart and in your mind. So we'll inhale. For those of you that want to, we'll stretch the arms up and exhale. Let them float down. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, down, sharing our positive energy with the world around us. One more big inhale gathering up the remainder of our positive energy and bringing the palms together we'll bring the palms in front of our foreheads may we think positive thoughts in front of our lips may we speak kind words and in front of our hearts may we spread love and joy wherever we go i know this is an uncertain time right now and i know it is a very difficult time for a lot of people but i invite you to find that strength within, not the strength to pretend that things aren't happening the way they are happening, but the strength to know that despite uncertainty and despite what's happening, you're here and you can handle it. And you can still find joy, compassion, and gratitude even in this time. Thank you so much for joining me for our Breathe and Meditate class today. If you can support my small business with a donation, you can head over to paypal.me slash bliss evolution or cash.app slash bliss evolution. And I want to thank you so much for being here. I'll be here next week again, same time, noon Eastern on Thursday. For those of you who are interested in yoga, there will be yoga tonight, same place, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And I look forward to seeing you there. So have a great week, everybody. See you next week. Bye now.